Welcome everyone to another edition of Built in the Borderland. I am your host, Robert Olguin. We're in the middle of the holiday season, right? And for a lot of people, for better or worse, that means doing some last minute shopping. But we begin today with a reimagined Christmas classic. I'm talking about a play called El Chuco Christmas. It's an adaptation of the Dickens classic, A Christmas Carol. Most of us have seen various incarnations of Ebenezer Scrooge on stage or screen, but a local playwright wanted to make that story speak to local audiences. So I traveled to San Elisario, where a local theater troupe called Los Actores is staging El Chuco Christmas, written and directed by Felix Arenas. So Felix, uh, it's so great to meet you and it's so great to be out here to hear about this project. Same, same here, yeah. Tell me, before we discuss the Christmas play, um, let's discuss a little bit more about you as a director um, and, and how we got here. Give, give us a background on you. I'll I tell you what, I've been uh, uh, writing uh, short stories and screenplays and finally got into uh, stage plays here in the last five years. I love my little corner of paradise here in West Texas. Uh, I love Segundo Barrio, uh, Islera, San Eli, Socorro. This is my this is my area, and I I love to shout it out to the world that we have we live in paradise here. Uh, very very few people know. You know everybody knows East LA. Everybody knows Chinatown. Everybody knows. Hell's Kitchen in New York City in the Bronx. Very few people know about El Paso. And I want to shout that to the world. We finally got historical uh, designation, but we it's the same thing we've been saying for years. So this is my passion to tell the world about El Paso. That's, I love to hear that kind of energy and I love to hear that kind of uh, passion behind a project. So to that end, here comes this Christmas play. Talk to us about this. I, I was I took up the challenge from Los uh, Los Actores, Hector Serrano's uh, bilingual theater company, to do the Christmas program. But I in the process I I, I asked if I could do something of my own. So this summer I started uh, brainstorming on what I wanted to do. What I really wanted to do was take the classic uh, Christmas Carol and make it our own. We've all seen different versions of a Christmas Carol, but to me, they never meant anything because they weren't us. And so I wanted to do something that was strictly El Paso and West Texas. And that's how El Chuco Christmas started. You know, it is based on 1985 El Paso. So the history is right there. We talk about the Segundo Barrio. We talk about the the, the uh, garment industry. We talk about our Scrooge. His name is Jeremiah, Jeremias in Spanish. And uh, by the way, it's a bilingual play, English, Spanish. And so Jeremiah, um, as is the theme here in our, in our part of the Lower Valley and, and Segundo, um, uh, doesn't doesn't go by his uh, Spanish surname, so he goes by Jeremiah and changed his last name a little bit so that nobody would recognize his Hispanic roots. Ah. And so, but Jeremiah is slumlord in in El Paso and in, in over here in San Eli. So we have him. Uh, and do all the things that slumlers do, and and uh, people get get uh, uh, hurt by his actions. So that's interesting, Felix, in the sense that I mean, as you're right, we're we're familiar with the classic arc of this story, which is really about someone finding redemption. In this case, the adaptation also has to do with identity, and um, and and what that means to someone. That that's truly a thing that we have always dealt with here, along the border. Right. 
And do I call myself Mexican or do I call myself American? Right. And those that of us that, that have chosen to be called Mexican Americans, we also found out that, that term was not easily uh, accepted. And so uh, some of us never accepted Latino, some of us never accepted Hispanic. So what is that? Uh, identity. That's fascinating, right? Because that's the that's often the classic conundrum of a border town, which is, you're not from here, you're not from there. So where are you, right? That's that's sometimes the dichotomy. I'll give you a, 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 an example that is mine. My name is Felix, Felix Arenas. So if somebody asks me, what is your name, Felix Arenas? I'm proud to say, but to somebody that doesn't speak Spanish they have no concept of my name and will never be able to come close to that. So I give them Felix. Yeah. And then I have never wanted to say Felix Arenas, yeah. you know? So I know a lot of people wrestle with that. So uh, this play, um, in this place with these actors, tell me about what people can expect. Oh my goodness, you're gonna, you're gonna hear about El Paso in the 1985 uh, era. You're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about disco, we're gonna talk about the OP, <laughs> and, and, and we're gonna talk about uh, Memorial Park and, and the Segundo Barrio, Alamo School in the Segundo Barrio, all those things. We're gonna, we're gonna, it's truly an El Paso story. Uh, we have some great actors. The lead is played by Carlos de la Garza Garcia, a long time uh, theater actor he, here in El Paso, well known. He's done theater here. He's done theater in the Southwest. He's done theater in New York City and Chicago and places. And so he's got a wealth of, of uh, acting experience that we're so proud of. Amazing. Well, Felix, great talking to you, and I'm looking forward to seeing the show. You bet. Come on out, guys. El Chuco Christmas will be staged on Friday, December 10th at the Adobe Horseshoe Dinner Theater in San Elisario. This is a dinner and show event, so it starts at 7 p.m., and tickets are $25. Coming up, the importance of local dollars being spent at local stores as we head into the holiday season. Stay with us. <laughs> 